Dan and Mike, we really don't know what's going to happen here. We're not really sure of what is on this video. So I'm I'm a little I'm a little concerned because I know these guys. I know these guys. So I'll turn it over to uh, Dan and Mike and that's us. <laughs> well, Dan and I would like to thank everyone wholeheartedly for coming out tonight to our father's retirement roast I mean celebratory dinner. Um, it's really incredible to see how many people have come out to celebrate him. I know there's a lot of people who couldn't make it and would like to be here. Um, and it's just amazing to see. He really does deserve to be celebrated. He's influenced so many lives, positively, for the most part. Um, it's hard to think of anyone, really, who deserves to be honored more than him. Um, he's just one of the nicest, smartest, most genuine people you could ever hope to meet. I'm so glad he's getting the celebration he deserves tonight. Um, over 42 years, he's worked with, I must assume, thousands, if not tens of thousands of students. can only imagine. Um, Dan and I have personally seen him run into many of his students years later, um, and just like tonight, you're hearing from people uh, over and over again. We hear from them firsthand how much he helped them, how much they love him. Um, they claim to have learned so much from him, to have moved their careers forward, uh, so much because of him, and we just hear it over and over again, and it's you know, inspiring and really incredible. Of course, none of this would have been possible without Dan and I, without good guinea pigs to test out his, <laughs> his curriculum and his theories and help him refine his early childhood education. <laughs> That's right, you're looking at the crash test dummies. <laughs> the lab experiments from which his brilliant insights and curriculum sprang. Every lecture at the university, Every chapter of the books he and, our, I, and my mother wrote, of which we still actually haven't seen a dime in royalties, <laughs> all tested on Dan and I first. Some of the earliest memories that Mike and I have of our father are of him working away in his home office, or his study, he used to call it. No matter where we lived, Dad found a way to carve out a study somewhere in our house and he would just spend hours working there, working on his speeches, working on his books. It was his version of a man cave, except instead of a big screen TV and a couch, there was a big bookshelf and a desk. <laughs> One time when Mike was around eight, he asked our mom why Dad had so much work to do when he got home every night. He's always in there, always. She said he just couldn't finish it all at work. Mike asked, why don't they just put him in a slower group? <laughs> so he worked very hard in that study. What was he, we always wonder, me and Mike, we're like, what is he doing in there? What does he do? What could he possibly working on, be working on after he got home from work? Well, whatever he was doing in that room, he was in his elements, and he was happy. But why? Why was he so happy working? And then one day, our father told us the secret of life. Yes, Mike and I carry this information with us, this wisdom with us every day. And now, I'm ready to share it with all of you tonight. Is the secret to life having an amazing wife? Yes. <laughs> Well, he does, but that is not it. <laughs> is it having a loving family? We really thought that was it, but wrong again. The secret of life is this. To work 10 minutes away from where you live. That's it. Once you find that job, plant yourself there for 42 years. <laughs> short commute. That's his secret to enjoying his work, never running out of energy, and having a long, successful career. Of course, Dad wound up taking this to the extreme. 
He's always looking for shortcuts in every aspect of life. For example, for the last 25, 30 years, Dan and I thought that when you need to buy a new TV, you're supposed to bring your neighbor to the store with you to negotiate a good deal for you and bring it home in his van. <laughs> we hardly ever ate out when we were growing up. When we went on vacation, Dad persuaded us that it was a very big deal to eat at McDonald's. <laughs> thought the correct way of disposing of grass clippings was to dump them over the fence into the neighbor's <laughs> We didn't know it was possible to get tickets to a sporting event. We thought the only way to watch sports was on the couch in front of a big screen with a bowl of ice cream and a plum. <laughs> of course, there are so many more dadisms that make us laugh. But to be fair, our father has worked extremely hard for a very long time. He's accomplished more than most of us could ever hope for. And we want to tell him now that we couldn't be more proud of him. Uh. We also want you all to know uh, what a selfless man he is. He was going to retire last year, but he didn't want to steal any thunder from Derek Jeter. <laughs> And we want to remember this special evening, so of course, we are videotaping it. We set up a camera on a tripod over there, so please, if you see our father, do not let him near it. We, we want the camera to stay on, upright, and not to film his pant leg for two hours, like so many vacation videos we have for a minute. Dan, on the other hand, is a very talented videographer, and put together a great video that we want to show now. If I can get the computer working, we're all going to watch it. Dad, we hope you enjoy this video. We want to conclude by saying thank you for always listening and caring, but most of all, just for being you. That's great! Hey Dad, when we first thought of putting together a little video for your retirement, we knew we'd get responses. But we were unprepared for the amount of people who were so ready and excited to congratulate and speak so highly of you. We were overwhelmed by the response, but we were not surprised. You were loved by so many, so much so that we had to edit this video down substantially just to get it to fit inside of a tiny room. There really is too much to say about all the lives you touched over your teaching career and beyond. The amount of people you were mentored to, whether you knew it or not, and how great you made life for your family over the last three decades. Okay, okay, I'll stop talking now and just let the video speak for itself. Love you, Dad. Congratulations and enjoy retirement. To your new life. Enjoy your retirement. Good luck. Hey, Uncle Anthony, congratulations. Good luck. Have an enjoyable retirement. 42 years, a long time to work, and enjoy the future. Congratulations on your retirement, Uncle Anthony. Congratulations. I heard you retiring. I just want to let you know it's not all Alaskan cruises and sleeping in late on Wednesdays. Right. Anything you've ever mentioned doing around the house in the last 20 years, and Kathy's going to remind you about it. <laughs> you mentioned painting the garage floor. You're going to be doing that the first week you retire. Thank you, Anthony. Congratulations on retiring. Wish I could be there to celebrate. Miss you. Love you. Uncle Ian, I'd like to congratulate you. Kudos, Uncle Anthony, and a job done.
All right, that was about 18 hours of footage edited down to 10 minutes. Thank you very much. That was really extraordinary. Wonderful talent, great tribute, beautiful points. One, one, one. Thank you. 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 Thank you.